Hi, I'm Roy. Welcome to the next video for Unreal Engine 4 and 3ds Max. Uh, se me olvidó. Level design for 3ds Max and Unreal Engine 4. 3ds Max 2 on Unreal Engine 4. Today, right now, this video will be taking this into Unreal Engine. So check how the pipeline works. Okay. What I will do right now is to delete my guy. I, I don't need this guy anymore. He served me well. But instead of delete it, I just hide it. That's it. Now I need this toolbar, snap toolbar. The snaps toolbar is this one right here. And I need you to know about angle snap and snap. Because what I do is go to hierarchy. Select affect pivot only. Select this wall, and I will with the uh, move tool. I will move the pivot for the wall to this right here. The same with this one. Oh, sorry. This pivot right here. This pivot right here. This pivot. Right here, you see? Easy peek, yeah? This pivot, right here. Same for this one. Same for this one. You see? Same goes for the roof. Right here. Or, right here. It no matter. Same goes for the floor. Right here. And right here, and same goes for the uh, ceiling lights. Right here, and right here. So I have the people lining up where I need it in a real engine. I need those people to be on that corner. What I'm gonna do right now is to take this wall. I will copy this well. Oh, sh sh let me cancel the snapping stuff. I will copy this well right here, and I rename this well as column. Column, and I will put it small like this, and a little bit forward like this. Let me hit polygon. Let me select this polygon. Grow again. Deselect, 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 deselect. Here we go. And now let me select, ignore back facing. Let me select this, 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 this. this. Not this one. I made a small strut. It I believe it was two inches. And the top part, this one. Here we go. I have a column and uh, have the pivot right there.
before going to Unreal Engine 4, I'll show you a quick uh, you can do some quick bending stuff right here. Check this out. I will rename this wall 90D and I will uh, connect this wall with at least 8 subdivisions now let me do more let me do 12 and I can go here cancel this you see now it's not blue blue not blue blue not blue and I can have the band modifier and I can write down 90 right here and change the direction you see it's going down I just need to hit the plus go to gizmo hit E and rotate this 90 now I have a 90 degree bending wall easy picky huh I have a corner wall with 90 degree and I can copy this and rename it, rename it 180 degree wall just write down 180 here nice huh just just nice alright so now let's select all of this but our little guy hit W and I have all the pivots on place I just need to write down 0 0 and 0 right here 0 0 0 and all of them goes exactly to the center of the grid of 3ds Max now I have all of them but a little guy a little guy is right here and I can select all of these they are to scale architectural scale and I can select all of them and I can go here export export selected go to a desktop make sure to use FBX format all this stuff that I'm doing works too for Maya and Blender and any other uh, modeling that you are using modeling software I write down right here uh, buildings no 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 I will write down yeah yeah building underscore you know why because after the underscore goes all the names of every single object that I have model in 3ds max so I'll have building wall building wall window building wall blah 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 safe and smoothing groups triangulate embedded media is off okay we're good to go so now I have on the uh, desktop I have this building stuff and I can go right here to the content create a new folder right click new folder rename it as contemporary I don't know if that's correct correct spell but contemporary assets and in that folder 
I will have this building. When it goes plus, then you release the click of the mouse. It will ask me what I want to do. I want not to combine matches. And the import uniform scale, you need to have it on 3. If you are doing exactly the same things I'm doing, that I'm using architectural measures on 3ds Max, you need to go this to 3. So, dudes assets coming here with the right scale and proportions. Then you have 3, not combined, no generate collision, no material, no textures, just import all. You see all those mistakes, all those warnings, because we haven't done the UVs. We are just getting this stuff inside the engine. And now we have it inside the engine, save all right here. On the next story, or maybe I can cover uh, on how to uh, do some UVs for these walls, but you are welcome to see these video tutorials for 3D Smart for new users from 0 01 to all of them and you will learn believe me how to UV map your stuff okay so let's continue here let's end this video thanks for watching thanks a lot hope you're learning hope you like it see you in the next video